one day in your court so far is better than a thousand elsewhere. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We should dwell in his secret place. In these times in which we are living, we need to be dwelling in the secret place of the Lord. Amen. And we can only dwell in his secret place. Amen. When we have ceased from sin. Does that mean we will sin no more? Is what I'm saying? No. It means we are not practicing sin. The intentions in your heart is to please the Lord. And to uh, be acceptable uh, unto him. Amen. So we uh, want to dwell in the secret place of the Lord. Especially in these times in which we are living. You know Jesus said. The first thing that he said to his disciples when they asked him. What would be the signs of thy coming and the end of this age. Well Jesus frankly told them first he said. And foremost, take heed that no man deceives you. Take heed that no man deceives you. Brothers and sisters, many are not heeding that warning from Jesus because they don't take him seriously. They think, you know, things were written in the Bible for the, those people back then, but for us, it's a whole different ball game. No, the words of Jesus are true then. They are true and relevant now. And so this is what we need to do. Take heed, amen, that we are not deceived by any man. I want to show you a video today. Before I get into that, I want to say that if you appreciate this ministry, you can help support this ministry through liking the videos, sharing the videos, uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you care to send a monetary donation, you may do that via cash app at uh, dollar sign broken vessel five one dollar sign broken vessel five one. That would be greatly uh, appreciated. Amen. What are we going to talk about today? Well, brothers and sisters, like I say, hearing what the spirit of God is saying is vital in the times in which we're living. I want to show you a video that um, that was on another YouTuber's video channel. A very, very, um, in my opinion, a very talented uh, and intelligent uh, young woman. Uh, her YouTube channel is um, The Standard of Truth. That's her YouTube channel, The Standard of Truth Podcast. And... Uh, when you have some time or, you know, you can view the things that she is saying on her um, podcast. You know, a lot of ministers do, will not recommend other people uh, that may be more knowledgeable of, uh, about things than they are. Some feel uh, inferior. Some may feel... Uh, they have a spirit of competition, which is no more than a spirit of jealousy. You know, so when you can recommend another person's uh, channel, ministry or whatever, that is speaking the same thing that you are speaking, why not do it? Why do we have to fight in the body of Christ? Amen. Our whole purpose is, should be to get the gospel, the word of Jesus Christ across to the world. Amen. And we cannot do that when we are fighting one another. And this is what the Lord says. Take heed. He said, from whence comes fightings and wars among you? He said, it comes not of your flesh, of yourself, because you are carnal. And when you got brothers and sisters in Christ, whoever, and they're fighting one another, jealous of one another, um, they are out of, out of order. And they are not walking according to the command of God. Uh, the Lord said to Paul that there would be no schism in the body. And many in the body are divided today because, like I said, competition. And that is nothing more than the spirit of jealousy. 
I got to have the best. I got to outdo you by this and by that. It's no more than the spirit of jealousy. And the Lord sees it and he is not pleased with it. So if you have some time, I recommend you go and listen to this young lady. She speaks the truth. Just as I speak the truth, you know, we don't have any agenda except for the agenda of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Individuals who have become victims of bad doctrine. And this is why the, the word of God tells us to study, to show ourselves approved unto God, not men. But many do not study the word. So they listen to what the pastor is preaching. Uh, whoever is preaching, they don't check it. They don't uh, investigate to see if the things are said are true, but they take every word. And, and, and now, like I say, ladies and gentlemen, it's gotten to the point you cannot question the man of God, the woman of God. And these are all these doctrines and things that have been taught to keep people in bondage. The Lord is not with that. And I'm going to show you the result of the bad teachings over the years that have come through the pulpit, things that have been done in society, in the Christian, well, have been done in society and has crept over into the Christian world and has really uh, made a mockery of true Christianity. And, you know, it is really quite sad uh, to tell you the truth, uh, to see how people are being deceived. So watch the video. And I'll be back. It's the Lord that was oh, formed, the Lord. You see the wife is the Lord that was formed, the Lord. You see the wife is the Lord that was formed, the Lord. Father God, you say la la, she hallelujah. Father God, and you say la la, la see, she hallelujah. That vengeance is yours, the Lord. Father God, and you will repay, oh Lord. Father God, you say the Lord in your word, oh Lord. Y'all, this is hilarious. So this so-called Christian woman was pulled. <laughs> She was pulled over by the police. So y'all, this is going to make y'all laugh. I want to show y'all this. And um, y'all just stay put. This is going to make y'all laugh. We, we, we got to watch this. A woman in Bellevue, Florida is stopped by police for speeding in a school zone. Is you guys have to slow down and pay attention. It wasn't. Uh, okay. Let's is that go. your correct address on there? There you go. Brittany, is that your correct there address? You go. Okay. It's yes or no question. It's called a closed-ended no. question. My, my. Yes or no. Obviously it is. I, I don't know if it is because sometimes go. people don't Run change their me. addresses. Run them and see. Hmm. You know, I, I spoke before in, in, in some other videos, ladies and gentlemen, about how people, because of this uh, rebelliousness uh, in the spirit, because of the, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, police brutality and all of this stuff and how people would have become belligerent against the police. Uh, they have become lawless. They have no respect for authority. I talked about this a long time ago and this attitude that she is uh, 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 demonstrating here and many like her is just the fruit of the labor that has been the seeds that have been planted and uh, the harvest is beginning to come up. And like I say, we can see it, ladies and gentlemen. And this is really, really sad. Really sad. Run them, please. Okay. I don't know why you have to act this way. Run them and see. I was simply coming over to tell you to slow down. Okay? Whatever you need to do, run it and see. Yes, ma'am. I got life. Yes, ma'am. Despite the woman's behavior, including giving the officer the wrong registration, she's getting off with only a warning for now. All I was going to do, Miss Brittany, was give you a written warning or a verbal warning. Okay? And that's what I did. All I wanted to tell you was start to, to slow down. Uh, when you want to find your child, go find one of them kids. Because I'm 30 I already have I'm a child. child. Thank you. Right. That's my life. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. And by the way, you gave me the wrong registration. Okay. That must be to my other vehicle. I have a, um, my registration. Yes, it says for a Chevrolet. Yeah, but I didn't give you a ticket for that because I'm being nice. Like I said, I'm okay? 37. So who gave you authority silver me? I don't know, but I'm 37. Wow. I don't know, but I'm 57. Yeah. So I'm, 37. I'm about 20 I'm years older than. And it don't matter. I'm but not your child. You possibly could be my yes, child. I'm not your child. Okay. And yeah. so, so what does I'm that mean? I'm a grown woman. That's what that means. Right. And so and am you're I. you're not going to treat me like a, um, a child. 
That's what if you're speeding in the school zone, yeah. I could be and that's fine. a really and I pulled over I could be and I gave you my registration and my license and, and that's giving fine. you like a four hundred dollar fine. No matter what you do. Oh. My my my, ladies and gentlemen, like I say, this is just blatant, uh, um, uncalled for. And, and, and she says she's a Christian woman, but Jesus said you would know them by their fruit. So you can see the fruit that she is. Um, <laughs> she is showing this is not godly at all and there are many christians with the same attitude don't talk to me don't tell me nothing you can't tell me anything you know i know i'm this pride ladies and gentlemen that i spoke about this arrogance this self-righteous attitude this is a prime example of what i've been saying and what the word of god says will come to pass we're going to read scripture in a minute Okay, I understand how you feel. I did not give you a speeding ticket for four or five hundred dollars, now did I? No, I did not. So, insurance and registration. All I said was written warning, there you go. The police has been as nice as she possibly can, irrespectively of, of her rudeness. This Brittany's rudeness, this so called Christian, her rudeness, the cop has been as nice as she can be okay now, did you try to have a better demeanor i don't need it i don't have to have we're done nothing. we're done you? with the traffic stuff uh -oh. i don't think so. be careful when I'm you're grown. backing out i know you're grown uh, Brittany. i'm grown mm. don't speak through here because you're gonna get a ticket 37 remember that ma'am i don't, don't have a i don't care you. how old yeah. you are okay like she's still talking like the lady <laughs> let her go how do you talk yourself into trouble after you've talked yourself out wow. of a speeding ticket? Stupid. The lady's telling her, be careful when you back out. You know, watch where you're going. She's still running them out. Just still talking. The pick you ain't gonna tell me what's new in nobody else's name. Mm. Well, Thank you. if it's the law, then yeah. yes. The law's That's going to tell do. you what to That's do. That's what you can do. That's the only thing you can do. Mm. Do you have but issues that I need to be aware I'm of? I'm 37. Okay. Do you have issues that do I need you to have be aware of? Issues? I'm asking you. Do you have issues? Um, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, no, she's good. She just has. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot. You, you maybe oh, if you want to continue. Did. My mother told the, you that. Uh, <laughs> the the yeah. stop with inoperable equipment on and your vehicle. Some, yeah. So that could have been the third matter. ticket. And whatever you want to do, Miss Brittany, you have a very terrible That's disposition. Oh, well. Very oh, well. terrible. I feel and sorry oh, well. for whoever is involved in your life because your matter. attitude is terrible. And have oh, well. a you good have a day. Too. You have a good day. And you too. You you anything else? No, you're free to go. You got to watch out for the officer. Why would... Okay, <laughs> now. Oh, they about the vehicle. See, just plain old stupid. That's what Santa do. It'll make you stupid. Not even paying attention to the nasty attitude. Uh... Not paying attention where she's going, and and accidentally ran into the police. Stupid. That's what Satan does, ladies and gentlemen. He he wants to mess your life up so bad, and and he goes on about his business laughing. And this is what the Bible says, that perhaps God will grant repentance to them who have been taken captive by Satan at his will. This is a prime example. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the word of God is true. The word of God is true. Yeah, he just stepped in front of my vehicle. No. You just tried to slam the door yeah, in front of me. in front of my vehicle. Stepped in front of her vehicle. It's okay. How is he going to step in front of her vehicle when he was walking off the road? He was at the end of the road getting ready and, and walking off to give her uh, passage to, to, to go. <laughs> I don't know. I was, yeah, I was, but y'all was, no okay, yeah, because you just stopped in front of my vehicle. I don't care about y'all not liking me. I, was, wow. I don't, you know, I don't care nothing about y'all not liking me. Oh, yeah, walking away. I don't care nothing about y'all. Without me being yeah. out of clear, I don't care nothing about y'all not liking me. Because you know what, God gonna take care of it all. Mm. Yeah, oh, I don't care nothing about y'all. Like so she Thank just God. comes out of nowhere talking about God going to take care of all of y'all and I don't care none about y'all not liking me. Nobody <laughs> said anything to this lady about not liking her. Nobody. Everybody, including me, we're all confused trying to figure out what is your problem, lady? 
Like, why are you so aggressive? You just was caught speeding through a school zone on top of the fact <laughs> that your driver's side mirror is all chewed out. I don't know what happened to that. Technically, mm. she should get a ticket for that. The so, it's her fault, 100%, all the way around, her fault. But don't take no responsibility for your actions. It's somebody else's fault. Somebody else did it and now and caused me to do this. See, the blame game. It didn't just start today. It happened back in the garden. And we are practicing the same old thing today. Don't take no responsibility for your own actions. Blame somebody else. You don't have to change nothing you're doing. The other person has to change. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the doctrine of, of demons and devils. And like I say, it has crept into the Christian community. Everybody is so prideful, full of, full of pride. You can't correct me. You can't tell me I'm wrong about anything. I'm the man of God. I'm the woman of God. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the one in charge here. So I can't do anything wrong. You just have to do like I tell you and become obedient. Well, that's not the way the Word of God tells us how to live as believers. This is really pathetic. Really, really sad. Lady didn't give her a ticket for that. Then she hits the officer with her car, and then she's still running her mouth. Just don't, <laughs> don't know how to be quiet. Mm. Don't know how to shut up. Your tongue is a deadly evil. Hey, she's not, hey, you're not free to go now. You just, that's an assault on an officer. So step out the vehicle. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? Yeah, it's tough because she hit you with a car. They'll get what they're going to get. You're going to get what you need. That's enough. They'll get what they're going to get. They're gonna get. Yeah, you want to spend the night in jail. That's what it is. You're a what? You're what? You sue us for what? Yeah. I can't imagine talking to a law enforcement officer this way. Mm. Especially you claim the name of Christ. We're supposed to submit to authority. Amen. I'm not saying that. Officers don't get out of pocket, but that's, that's right. irrelevant in this situation because this officer was incredibly nice and gracious to her and she's still running her mouth. It's because she's entitled and our culture and society has created a whole environment that's right for this kind of behavior. Amen. Take a look. Don't live here, baby. You just, hit, no you just hit the officer with your car. Do you have really want to put you in front of my car? No, he I don't think y'all heard that. <laughs> this bra said witchcraft has no authority here. Wow. Ma'am. Your rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. What my witchcraft my. are you talking about? My my. My. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get your lawyer. I'm going to get no lawyer. Y'all will get what's coming to y'all because y'all going to wish y'all wouldn't have touched it. How about that? I don't care. That's the bottom dog that got you. But. Yeah. Walk around this way. Help that. Walk around we'll this way. Okay. Baby. And my mammy will too. <laughs> yeah. My She'll my. be dead after a while. And her and my daddy. My yeah. My. Oh my God. Oh yeah. She'll she get what's coming to her, baby. Death on her Especially parents. when I didn't do nothing wrong. I pat didn't her do down. Oh, she'll get. Oh, <laughs> you can pat me down all you want to. Oh, wow. I have so to what? pat you down. Pat me it's down. Policy and procedure. Pat me down, baby. Cause those witches and warlocks, they going down, baby. Mm. This year, sure don't. Me. Sure don't, Are you baby. Sure about that? Positive. The grace that let me see you and y'all fuck with me, cause I don't want to oh stay my. with my mama. That's why y'all fuck with me. Mama. And I don't give a fuck. Who's your mama? Yeah. Don't you fuck your mama. See, it comes out eventually, ladies and gentlemen. You can hide behind the Christianity label for so long, but when the right buttons are pushed, it comes out eventually. I don't want to be around. No. What I'm getting arrested for? Aggravated okay. assault. Yeah. With a deadly weapon, your vehicle. Okay. Yeah. What is all on that was formed, the Lord? <clears throat> you see the weapon is all that was formed, the Lord. Father oh, God, you said it. She no, hallelujah. No, no. Father God, and you said it. I see she hallelujah. No, no. The vengeance is yours, the Lord. Father God, and you will repay, oh Lord. Father God, you said, oh Lord, in your word, oh Lord. That chakra got to come off. They got to come off, Lord. Amen. They got to come off, oh Lord. Father God, and you will repay, oh Lord. Father God, you said, oh Lord, in your word, oh Lord.
Lord. Father God, as my enemies come one way, oh Lord, Father God, they shall flee, oh Lord, seven ways, oh Lord, before me, oh Lord. Father, I thank you, oh Lord, for the victory, oh Lord, on this afternoon, oh Lord. Father God, for vengeance is all our lives. She, hallelujah, vengeance is yours. Oh my, 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 my. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the effects of someone who has been involved with bad teaching, bad doctrine, uh, under a ministry that um, is not solid. You know, and it is, it's really sad. It's really sad. But this is something that just didn't happen overnight. Amen. This is something that happened gradually. Now I want to talk about what I'm saying. I talked a long time ago uh, about the sensuality movement, movement that was entering the Christian arena. What am I talking about? Well, I posted on my P Facebook page. I don't remember how long ago it's been. And everyone, you know, posts these um, cartoon figures of black women dress sexy, short dresses, tight pants, whatever, breasts showing, big earrings in their ears, and, uh, you know, tattooed all up, but yet they have the caption under there, God has got my back. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. All of this stuff, confusing and uh, polluting the scriptures, this is what the Bible said. They hold the truth in unrighteousness. And so this has gone on and Christian people are posting these uh, figures and uh, didn't see anything wrong with it. So these things continue to happen. And so now uh, we have been desensitized to what holiness is. Along with that, calling folks queens and uh, princes and all of this stuff, this entitlement, this self, uh, self-love, self-exaltation that has been perpetrated out of the church and has moved into the church. All of these things have happened, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we have and we see what is happening now. Sensuality has moved into the church. The gospel of Jesus Christ has been watered down, and it doesn't mean anything anymore. I also spoke about how using the world's lingo and following the world's philosophers, the sayings of popular philosophers that we gravitate to, how it pulls us away from the solid word of God. Amen. I've talked about that using, you know, talking about getting crunk, uh, being lit. All of these things, we use these, the world's language, and as we continue to use it, it desensitizes us to the truth. I mean, many, many may say, oh, man, you're just being ridiculous. Well, okay, but l l the fruit speaks for itself. We talk about karma instead of talking about what the Bible says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. We move to the Hindu philosophies in the church. I talked about how the prosperity, prosperity gospel, the kingdom now, and we are king's kids. Doctrines have pulled us, have, have pulled many away from the reality that we will suffer for Christ. So the kingdom now Kingdom authority, kingdom dominion. We are king's kids. Using the word of God, twisting it, making it say what it doesn't mean. Because we are fleshly, we are carnal. And this is the result of what years of bad teaching and bad doctrine has brought us. When the word of God says we are priests and kings, a royal priesthood, a holy, that doesn't mean all the, 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 the fine cars, the fine clothes, the big houses. It doesn't relate to that. It means that we are royalty in the kingdom of God. We are men and women of God 
that should uh, shine forth in this world. As the Lord used Israel and separated Israel from the world back then in the Old Testament, the church should be that city set upon a hill now, should be that light, should be separated from the world. But no, we are mixing with the world. We want what the world has. And so the prosperity gospel, you know, if you ain't got it, something must be wrong. You better check your, 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 your walk. But see, Paul said simply this in the word of God. There will be some who would teach uh, gain as godliness. Gain as godliness. Having stuff means you have a right relationship with the Lord. Paul said some would teach that. And ladies and gentlemen, they are teaching that. But we don't want to hear it because our flesh craves after these things. Let me continue on. So, all of this teaching, King's Kid, name it, claim it. Uh, anytime you face trouble, speak it, and the Lord's going to bring you out. And all of this stuff, so it has made us malnourished in the Word of God. Listen to what the Word of God says. Nobody wants to suffer no more. Romans 5, 3 through 5 tells us not only this, but we also rejoice in sufferings, rejoice in tribulations. Knowing that the suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance. <laughs> no, you, you haven't suffered nothing, so you don't know how to endure anything. You just want to speak it and Lord, get me out. So we haven't learned how to endure anything. We have been pampered. We want everything to go our way. But we don't want this type of Christianity. We want the other type. The other Jesus that Paul spoke about. So tribulation work is patience. And endurance, character. <laughs> character. What kind of character do you have? You say something bad about me, I'm going to get you told. This is the character that you had. You, I, I'm, I'm a king's kid. You ain't going to say that to me. You're not going to talk to me any kind of way. Just arrogant and proud. Who do you think you are? You're not a child of God with that attitude. So you have no character. And character hopes. Character hope. Hope of what? Hope of the, the return of Christ. Hope of a better life. But no, we want the better life now. We want it now. And endurance character and character hope. And hope does not disappoint. Listen, if your faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ, you're not going to be disappointed. No matter how much tribulation or suffering you have to endure, you're not going to be disappointed. But no, we don't believe that. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who, has, who was given to us. The Holy Spirit. Do you possess the Holy Spirit? Where well, the word of God did say many will have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. Yes, yeah, so we are, we're seeing a form of godliness. A form of godliness. Let me continue on. Because this, is going to, this video is going to be longer than I intended. Romans 8, 35 through 37. And who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Will trouble or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? You know, none of this sounds like having a good time right here. None of this sounds like name it and claim it. None of this sounds like speak it and the Lord is going to move you out of it. It says, ask your question, what's going to separate you from the love of Christ? What will separate you? trouble separate you? And since this is why Jesus said when he talked about the, the, the seed and the sword, the ones that fell on the wayside, you know, uh, and on the stony ground, they didn't do it at all. And among the thorns, tribulations, and, and the cares of this life entered in, choked the word out of them. This is what we are seeing today, ladies and gentlemen. This is the type of Christianity that we have today. Don't want to endure nothing. Don't want to, to suffer nothing. But we just want ease and pleasure. Amen. Let me continue on. For it is written... 
So he said, will trouble separate you, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, or sword? <laughs> As it is written, for your sake we, are, we encounter death all the day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Then he says, no, in all these things we, are complete, we have complete victory through him. Who loved us no matter what we suffer we, 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 we we're not giving up we're not hopeless we're not defeated despite what we have to suffer he said no but we're counted as victorious through the Lord Jesus Christ listen this is what Timothy said and as you, you saw this video of this lady Timothy spoke through the Holy Spirit that this is the type of character this is the attitude that we will see in the last days second timothy 3 1 through 5 says this but understand this that in the last days difficult times will come what did the lord just say through paul difficult times will come many try to, to deny it but the word of god says difficult times will come we might as well face it you know, many don't want to face it. They want to say that, hey, uh, these things that are coming upon the world, they're not going to touch us. But the Lord said difficult times will come. Listen, for people will be lovers of themselves. Amen. You saw it displayed in the video. Lovers of money. Boastful. <laughs> You've seen some of this, all of this, some of these things you saw displayed in the video. Arrogant blasphemers speaking about God's going to handle it but then cursing at the same time salt water and bitter water cannot flow from the same fountain says the word of God disobedient to parents yes yeah, she said her father and her mother are going to be dead soon she wanted them dead ungrateful unholy the police was being as nice as she can giving her a warning not giving her a $400 ticket being very polite but she is ungrateful she was ungrateful and unholy, <laughs> unloving, ir irreconcilable, slander slanderous, without self-control, <laughs> talking. She couldn't shut up for a minute. She just had to talk, talking over the officer. Such disrespect, savage, opposed to what is good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, <laughs> loving pleasure rather than loving God. They will maintain the outward appearance of religion, but will have repudiated its power. So avoid people like this. This is what the word of God says. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the real power of the Holy Spirit to change their lives. They deny the Holy Spirit access to change their lives. Let me continue on. First Peter 4, 14 through 17 says, If ye be reproached for the name of Christ. Listen, happy are ye for the spirit of God, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ. Listen, the, he's making a distinction here. If you be reproached for Christ Jesus, then the spirit of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Listen. But listen, he said, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matter. In other words, if you do something and you get beat up for it, or you, 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 you face the consequences for it, don't say, oh, Lord, help me. It, you know, the enemy is, is, is after me, Lord. The enemy has done this, Lord. No, uh-uh. You did it. Don't bring God in, into your trouble, just like she tried to do. Don't bring God in it. You did it. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, a busybody in other man's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Amen. But let him glorify God on his behalf. If you suffer because you're preaching Christ. If you suffer because you're standing for the truth, you don't have to be ashamed. 
The Bible says that, that the, the apostles, when they, when, uh, when they were beaten by the chief priests and whatnot, he said that they rejoiced. Uh, they, they rejoiced because they, count, they were counted worthy to suffer shame for the Lord Jesus Christ. No, but when somebody says something bad about us and put our name out, we want to uh, retaliate. Listen to what he said. And this is, this is something. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. <laughs> judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? So you got a lot of people pretending to be Christians. But judgment is coming to the house of God. Judgment is coming to the house of God. But some say that the, the, the church, the house of God, the body of Christ has no issues. Well, the Lord beg to differ with your understanding. Like I say, men don't want to be accountable. We think we, are, we got it all together. No, we don't. Even Paul said, I've counted not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do. So if you think you've arrived and you got it all together, then more power to you. Romans 13 and 1 through 4 tells us this. And see, if she uh, is a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, and many of you, if you say you are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, you should have respect for the authority that God has placed upon the earth. This is not talking about in the church. There's other scriptures about that, and how men are abusing the people of God. But this is talking about the governments that God has set in the world. Governments. Sounds like politics to me. Now he says 13, Romans 13, 1 through 4. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. Every person, not just Christian, but non-Christians too. For there is no authority except by God's appointment. And the authorities that exist have been instituted by God. Okay, so keep politics out of the church. But God has instituted the governments of the world. <laughs> okay. Amen. So every uh, authority that has, has been appointed by God. So the person who resists such authority resists the ordinance of God. You resist what God has put in place when you resist the authority. And those who resist will incur judgment yeah so when you talk bad to the police you disrespect the police and you want to be uh rebellious and out of control and they have to tase you they have to put you in a chokehold or whatever you know don't go cry, crying uh police brutality and uh, uh black lives matter and all of this because you brought it upon yourself for the rulers for rulers calls no fear for good conduct, but for bad. How simple is that? When you obey, when you comply and do what is told, what you're told, you don't have to fear. But when you are rebellious and think nobody can tell you nothing, just like she said in the video, y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm grown. I'm 37. Okay. So she received judgment. For rulers cause no fear to good conduct, but for bad. Do you desire not to fear authority? <laughs> Do you desire not to fear authority? Like I said, because of the push. And I have to say it from the Democratic Party, the anti-police rhetoric, defunding the police and uh, supporting Black Lives Matter and pushing that agenda. And many Christian folks followed right along. Forgetting the word of God, just followed right along. So he asked the question, do you desire not to fear authority? You, you're going to buck up against authority? Okay. Do good and you will receive its commendation. Do good and you will receive a good reward. For, for it is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be in fear. For it does not bear the sword in vain. I think the King James says he, 
it is God's servant to administer retribution on the wrong door. So when you do wrong, when you buck up against the police and you think nobody can tell you nothing and you are a king's kid and you have authority and you can speak it and declare and decree it, well then you go right ahead. But like I say, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer, amen, for your rebellion. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to really get back to what to, 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 to the basics and get back to the Lord. Amen. To get into his word and to keep his word pure. Because there are many deceivers out there. There's a lot of bad doctrine being taught. A lot of foolishness going on. But uh, we just have church and everybody's going to be fine. Amen. This is Brother Williams. Thank you for taking the time to view this message of this video. And I pray that you receive the blessing. Sorry it went so long. Uh, God bless you. Until next time, be blessed.